gentlemen, here's tonight's extra special attraction. That riding, roping fool, your western pal and mine, Bronco Bob Mitchell. Bunko Bob Mitchell? That phony's never been west of the Hudson River. No, well, how about all those books he wrote? I fought cattle rustlers. I caught horse thieves. Yeah, well, I caught him where it hurts. Read my column today. Well, if it's true, it'll be the biggest scoop of the year. Sure, it's true. I'm making book a 10 to 1. Bronco Bob doesn't show up on a horse tonight or any other night. Bob, you've never been on a horse in your life. And I'll bet the horse knows it. Why don't you forget the riding? Just walk out there and sing him a song. Then beat it. And I'll tell him you've got a broken neck or something. Beat you saw what Martin Manning wrote in his column about me this morning, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, do you want my public to think he's right? Think he's right, mister? He is right. Look, Bob, I admit starting all this Bronco Bob build up just to sell your books, but I can tell you're on. Yeah, but can he stay on? Not that side, the other side. Even I know that. Say, Ann, you should be getting ready for the contest. And miss the chance to hear Bronco Bob Mitchell sing? That $10,000 will wait a few minutes. Give me my saddle and let me ride the painted hill, my love. I can speak with passing stars and touch the moon above. Give me my saddle and let me go up where the river starts, where I can let the western breeze go singing through. have used a magic brush to paint the west so fair I know it must be just a step up to heaven from there so give me my saddle and while I live I only want to ride the purple and have my love riding by my side. And while I live, I only want to ride the purple hills and have my love a riding by my side. A before the boss catches you. Bring out, I'll run over you. Get off that horse. I'm warning you. Now, I'm playing cowboy. Sure. You know what the boss told you? What? The next time he catches you playing cowboy, he's going to fire you. Yeah? Come on. Oh. Help, me, help me sell this stuff. Okay. Hey, Duke, did you see me? What? I was standing right next to a real live jackass. Did you ever ride a jackass? No. Well, you want to get on to yourself. Come on. Penis. I get it. Take him a dummy. Hot dogs. Red hot. Hot dog. Hot dog. Mm-hmm. Did you ever ride a jackass? No. No? Jump on my back. No. <laughs> well, Manning, did my boy finally convince you he's the real thing? So he can ride a horse, but that doesn't prove he's the great Western hero his books say he is. <laughs> Won't any they ever convince you? <laughs> say, listen, I'll make you a little bit. Excuse me. 
Ah, là-bas, Tom. Hot dogs. Hey, Duke. Mm. What's the matter? I mean, the, the guy threw the 50 cents in the... What? Well, look for it. What's the matter? Bash. Huh? What happened? The 50 cents here. Where does it go? Down the back. Down the back. Uh-oh. Don't look. Don't look. Well, all right. All right. Wait a minute. Give it a stand up. Maybe it'll fall out. Give it a stand up? Sure. I beg, you, beg your pardon, madam. Do you mind? Could I get you a better seat? No, thank you. I'm very comfortable. And besides, I paid a dollar for this seat. Well, you just got 50 cents change. Come here. I'll get her to stand up. You go down there and get the coin when it drops out. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. You don't have to stand up. Shh. I'm going downstairs. Hey, did you get it? I missed it by a foot. What? It went down a shoe. I beg your pardon, are you perfectly comfortable? Yes, I am. Uh, if you want to make yourself feel at home, you can take your shoes off. Listen, young man, if you don't hot foot it away from here, I'll call an officer. Hey, hot foot, hot foot. Hot hey, feet. I told you to peddle those peanuts, now get going. Uh, uh, I said get going. Okay, boss. I hope those two vendors weren't annoying you. Well, they are rather persistent salesmen. They may be persistent, but they're not salesmen. Hey, look out for the manager. I'd like to give him a hot foot, too. Those fellows burned me out. Oh! Did you get it? Oh! Hiya, partner. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. I mean, don't push. What are you I'm not pushing. Hey, Duke, don't push. Don't talk so loud. We don't want to go out until we know we're clear. Don't, don't push. Don't I'm telling you now. Get over. Get over yourself. Get over. Get over yourself. Now, look, look. I'm going to... Shh. Hey, Duke. Quiet in case he Hey, Duke. Quiet. Where did you pick up the fur coat? Yeah, what fur coat? Oh, it's a pretty... It's a pretty... Oh. Another five minutes to you signing those autographs and I had a nervous breakdown. <laughs> Terribly sorry. I hope you didn't get. So you're Bronco Bob, the pride of the West. Well, you certainly looked it. Any real rider could have sat his horse and bulldog that steer himself. Come on, Bob, get out of here before somebody comes. Well, now wait a minute. This young lady may be hurt. You want to lose that new syndicate contract? She's all right. Look, Miss, tell him to get out of here. If this gets on about him, he'll be ruined. Come on, tell him to beat it, will you? Go on, Mr. Mitchell. I wouldn't dream of hurting your career. Yeah, see, come on, beat it, will you? Ruby. Miss Anne, oh, come on, Miss Anne. that first aid. We're awfully sorry you got hurt. It's all our fault. Duke and I were running to hide from the boss, and I let the cow's husband out. He means the bull. Bull nothing, that's a fact. Oh, it's all right, boys. I realize it wasn't done intentionally. Thank boys, you. Boys, tell one of the attendants to bring up a stretcher, will you? Yes, yes sir. sir. She'll be all right. In the meanwhile, I'll phone the hospital and make arrangements. Hospital? Hospital? Mm. Oh, but, Doc, I've got to ride in the finals tonight. Mm, out of oh, the Doc. question, miss. That may be only a sprain, but I'll have to x-ray to be sure. The next event, ladies and gentlemen, the finals of the women's trick riding contest. America's greatest cowgirl risking life and limb for that added grand prize of $10,000. Thank you, men. Hiding from your public? No, and thanks to you, I still have one. I just wanted to tell you how sorry I am that you got hurt. Why, any girl would gladly sacrifice her life to save the great Bronco Bob Mitchell. 
Everybody tells me that you'd have been a cinch to win that $10,000 grand prize, and you'd make me feel a whole lot better about the whole thing if you'd accept this check. I wasn't sure about the spelling of the name, so I made it out like that. What's the matter? Afraid that I'll tell someone that you're a four-flusher? Well, I wouldn't dream of disillusioning your public, Mr. Bronco Bob Mitchell. Now, take your check and get out of here. Hey, did I just give the works to that Martin Manning? I made him admit that you operated that horse like it was a kitty car. How about the girl? She'll be all right. Oh, you fixed everything, huh? Yeah, I fixed everything. That's kind of a tough break for her at that. It seems her old man runs a dude ranch out west somewhere. It meant a lot of customers if she'd won this championship. Dude ranch? Where? Who cares where? You are going up to Connecticut and start on that new adventure story. I'm going to finish this one first. Come on, let's get out of here. That boy's worried. What makes you think he's worried? I don't know. He must be. Why? He just threw away a check for $10,000. Hey, now you're lucky. It wasn't even made out to me. Wait a minute. Who was it made out to? Some guy named Cash. Why, you... Hey, you fellas! The boss! Come on! Come on! Let's hide in this dark tunnel. Come on! But us cows. Thanks.
What are you doing with that red flag? Some dummy left it hanging up outside. Oh, get rid of it. Wait, wait. A little game of poker. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the one game I never played. I don't know a thing about this game. I'm so ignorant when it comes to playing cards. Never played a game of poker? No. Is this anything like dice? Uh, well, uh, yes. <laughs> Sit down, I'll teach you the game. I want to learn. It's going to teach me the game. <laughs> sure, a friendly little game. The first man I find cheating, I'll shoot his hat off. Sure. <laughs> how many chips do you want? Chips? You've got to buy chips. How much chips do I buy? Well, how much money have you got? Cut some. <laughs> Cut some other. <laughs> I mean, what are you so happy about? I was tickling myself. Oh, come on, that's enough. Baby. No tax? I'll deal. Where's your auntie? I beg your pardon? Where's your auntie? She's home with my uncle. I didn't know he knew anything about my relatives. Oh, no, no, no. Feed the kitty. Oh. Hey, Pochet. Hey, Pochet. Can you get me some milk, please? No, no, no. Put up late. That's what... I told you I didn't know anything about poker anyway. Why? Did you open it? I'll stay. What do you do? Either raise or call. Well, who? <laughs> the man that made the bed. Hey, you! No, 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 no. Put a dollar in the pot. Oh, what a silly dude. Look, the pot on the table. Pot on the table? Certainly. All right, now, will you take that off? What are you oh, doing? You told me so. Not that. Hey, you, Andy up. Andy up. Who are you yelling at? You. Do I get these misses? Excuse me, please. I didn't know how big you was. Sit if he was a small guy, I might have said so. Get the size of that guy. All right, keep going. <laughs> Oh, break it up and wake up, wake up, Jacob. You can't lie dreaming in the sun all day. You gotta keep jumping to amount to something. You gotta get out and get some hay. So break it up and wake up, wake up, Jacob. You won't be president in that way. You can't be reclining while the sun is shining. You gotta get out and some hay. You gotta be in that pitch and steady, cause opportunity knocks one time no more. When up knocks, you gotta be ready to get up and open the door. Or break it up and wake up, wake up, Jacob. You can't lie dreaming in the sun all day. You gotta keep jumping to amount to something. You gotta get out and pick some hay. Break it up and wake up, wake up, Jacob. You can't be dreaming in the sun all day. You gotta keep jumping to a mount to something. You gotta get up, get up, get up and pitch some hay. Break it up, Jake boy. Don't be that away. Break it up, Jake boy. You gotta start to pitch some hay. Ooh, wake up. Get up and start things humming. Ooh, wake up. Maybe there's a paying customer coming. Keep on pitching steady. Cause opportunity knocks one time no more. When up knocks, you gotta be ready to open the door. Open the door. Come on then, break it up and wake up. Wake up, Jacob. You can't lie dreaming in the sun all day. You gotta keep jumping to amount to something. You gotta get up. Get out. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, wake up, Jacob. Wake up. Couldn't bring home that prize money. Well, what, what happened? It's a long story. Let's oh, go. I thought it was a short story. Hello. Oh, Mr. Mitchell. Careful, your train doesn't go off and leave you. Oh, are you Mr. Mitchell, Bronco Bob? That's right. Well, I'm mighty glad to see you. I got your wire about reservations. Proud to have you as a guest. Thank you, sir. A guest? <laughs> At the Lazy S? Yeah, when I told the boys, they were mighty pleased, too. I think they're counting on picking up a few pointers from you. Oh, Alabam, there she is. Alabam, how are you? Well, now that you're back, you know this place seems like a desert without you around. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, Mr. Mitchell, you must meet Alabama Brewster, our foreman, and the best rider in this part of the country. Hiya, Mr. Mitchell. Glad to know you. Glad to know you. He's terrific at Bulldog. You two should have a lot in common. Let's go, Alan. See you at the ranch. Welcome home, Miss Van. Oh, thank Afraid you. Afraid of the stocks just pulling in. I'll give the boys a hand and be right along. All right. Oh, oh my God. God. All right. I don't know. I think I could have done a lot better for him. Hey, Duke! Real Indians! We'll be attacked! Hey, run the freight cars in a circle! Put the freight cars in a circle! Now, Have come on, plenty boy. of water! Send the no, pony express out! Souvenirs! Oh, boy! Souvenirs! We're gonna... Wait a minute. He sells souvenirs. Oh, yeah. Step over to my shop. I sell Indian spring water. With every bottle, I give away a bow and arrow. You give away a bow and arrow? Yes. How do you like that? All my life, I wanted a bow and arrow. Uh, I wish I had one now. I'd knock off a lot of Indians. Yeah, yeah! You want to get us in trouble with these Indians? Shush. Don't be scared of any Indians. You show me one Indian, I'll show you a coward. I'm an Indian. I'm a coward. Step this way, gentlemen. What's the matter with you? Now, come on. Unravel the freight cars. It's safe. All right, everything. Hey, Duke, look. A real genuine Indian bow and arrow. What do you mean, genuine? Made in Cleveland. Well, didn't you ever hear of Cleveland Indians? Oh, now, stop. Here you are, gentlemen. It'll make you feel good. Refreshing, like rain in the face. Say, that's just what we need. Yeah, we could use some. Uh... Buy a jug, Willoughby. That's all you do is put your hand in your pocket. You never come up with nothing. Go on, buy a jug. I mean, after all, what am I, the secretary, treasurer, and everything else? Go ahead. There you are. There you are. Very refreshing, huh? All so, right. Oh, what in the world is this? Where did he go? There he go. There he goes. Where did that guy go? Oh, oh boy. That's a fine trick you played on me. I'll call it even if you tell me what those people are talking about. My tribe are saying that the man who shoots an arrow through the tent of an eligible squaw must marry her. I think it's a very, very good law. That law should be all over the country. You marry her. I don't want to marry her. You got to marry her. Right. Not me. You shot an arrow through the heart of her teepee. <laughs> Therefore, you must marry her. I'll see you later. Come on! I don't want to marry her. I don't oh. want to marry her. He's I'm not going to marry her. Don't worry. I'm not going to marry no girls. Look, she might be beautiful. I don't care if she's beautiful at all. I'm not going to marry her. I wouldn't marry the most beautiful girl in the world. Uh. I can be wrong. Hello. I'm some marksman, huh? I shot my arrow right through your tent. No, I'm Sunbeam. Your arrow appears to the tent of my sister, Moonbeam. Moonbeam? Sunbeam? Hey, Duke! Must be twins! We'll find out. I think I will. Moonbeam! Yes, sweetheart? Will there ever be an end to that? She called me sweetheart. Sister, we'll have a bow and arrow wedding. A tisket, a tasket, a brown and yellow basket. I send a letter to my mummy on the way I dropped it. I dropped it, I dropped it. Yes, on the way I dropped it. A little girly picked it up and put it in a pocket. She was trucking on down the avenue, but not a single thing to do. She went back, back, backing all around. When she spied it on the ground, she took it, she took it, my little yellow basket. And if she doesn't bring it back, I think that I will die. Oh, gee, I wonder where my basket can be. So do we, so do we, so do we, so do we, so do we. So do we. So do we, so do we, so do we, so do we. Oh, why was I so careless with that basket of mine? That itty bitty basket was the joy of mine. Basket, basket. Hello, 
lost my yellow basket. Won't someone help me find my basket and make me happy again, again? Was it red? No, 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 no. Was it green? No, 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 no. Was it cerise? No, <laughs> no, no. Just a little yellow basket. <laughs> Well, somebody has to look after you. This idea of yours is crazy. Hey, boy. Oh. You looking for me? No, we're just trying to find out where we are. You're at the Lazy Ass Ranch. Are you looking for work? Not if I can find anything else to do. Say, could you use a couple of good men? Did you ever punch cattle? I should say not. I never hit any animals. <laughs> He's only kidding. Why, that boy there is the son of the West. Oh, really? Reared on the prairie. Uh -huh. Why, he even had a saddle for a cradle. And the moose of the cattle was his lullaby. <laughs> That's right, partner. Sure. Yeah, the moose of the cattle. Sure. Every time I hear the moose, I go to sleep. Well, you boys certainly have a good sense of humor. Hop over to the bunkhouse and get you some work clothes. I'll be in the office. Thanks a lot. Well, come on, we've got a job. What are you waiting for? Boy. Hey, Duke. What? I didn't know cowboys lived in nice houses like this. Sure. Look at the big bathtub they got. Never mind the bathtub. Look at the girls in it. Oh, girls! Hi, you do. Oh, I'm uh, Dottie Davis, the ranch hostess. Are you gentlemen taken care of? Everything's just dandy. Well, if I can do anything for you, just whistle. Let's grab ourselves a swim, eh? Yeah. Over here, some bathing suits. Come on. Yeah. Did you take a shower? Why? Is the one missing? Get your suit wet. Oh, get the suit wet. Certainly. Okay. <laughs> What's that? I got wet. No, certainly not. Dive in. Get in the pool. Take advantage of it. Okay. Go ahead. Hey, how deep is it there? Up to my neck. Up to your neck? Huh. Okay, here I come. Hey, oh, Tommy. Tell me it was up to my neck. Yeah, well, what are you going to do about it? Why? Did you ever find a guy to stole that shower? Now, listen to me. These people are all watching you. Now, go on up to that springboard there. They're expecting an exhibition. Go ahead. So, you'll be right up there, folks. Don't worry about it. Just sniff it. Come on. All right, folks. Go ahead, get up there on the board and show the folks how you can dive. Go okay, ahead. okay. Go on. All right, don't push, don't push. I'm going to get up. Well, get up. I mean, after all. All right, get up, get up, get up, get up. Go ahead, get up. Now, go ahead out on the board. Go ahead. Champion. Go on. Go <laughs> ahead, Willoughby. Come on, the folks are all waiting. Get up on the board. That's enough for me to swim. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Stand still. Get up. Go. Here, here, here. Adam. Oh, my head. Oh, I do. My head. I don't come on your head. I do. Oh, oh. I do. Oh, 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 oh. Get off my finger. Get off my Diving board. Hey, dude, get me up, 
Mitchell's staying at your place. That's right. What about it? Well, the boys would like to meet him. Well, maybe I can arrange it. Oh, Mr. Mitchell. Here he comes. Right. Well, Bronco Bob himself. Right proud to meet you, Bronco. Howdy, Bronco. How do you do? Me and the boys rode out to thank you personal like. Thank me? Sure, for entering our rodeo. Big event of the Frontier Day celebration. We're turning the receipts over to a hospital for kids this year. And having a celebrity like you riding for the lazy ass ought to just about double our take. Did you enter in a Rodale? He sure did. Got this telegram just a few hours ago. My old friend, that great westerner, Bronco Bob Mitchell, wishes me to announce his entry in the Bronco busting event of your Frontier Days Rodale. Signed, Martin Manning. Good old Manning, always ahead of the news. It's all on the level, isn't it? We can count on you. Now, Bob, wait a minute. You say, so you know, it makes a big difference in the dough we take in for that hospital. All right, boys. You can count on me. Swell, thanks. Great, thanks a lot. So long. So long. Hey, See you later, Ann. Bronco busting. You're beginning to believe your own publicity. So, you entered the big rodeo and decided to represent the Lazy S. Now, isn't that wonderful? Of course, the fact that it's going to keep our outfit from winning the team prize doesn't matter. Look, I don't like myself as a phony any more than you do. Then why be one? Well, all my life I've tried to be a writer, and all I got for my pains was a trunk full of rejection slips until one day I happened to write a Western story. And then I wrote a couple of more Westerns, and they clicked too, and that was the beginning. This Bronco Bob buildup was my publisher's idea. Well, why keep it up? I can't tell the truth now. There are too many people involved. There are Bronco Bob toys, souvenir songs, all the rest. A couple of hundred people make a living out of a guy that doesn't even exist. I never realized that. The only reason that I came out here is because I had some sort of a crazy idea that Bob Mitchell might learn to do some of the things that Bronco Bob is supposed to do, if he had the right teacher. You mean Alabama, for instance? I mean you, for instance. Well, Mr. Mitchell, as long as you're going to be on our team, I thought maybe you'd like to pick the horse you want to ride. Uh, right, right now? Well, we want to be sure that you get the best, don't we, Ann, honey? <laughs> Come along, Bronco. Oh, bury me not under the prairie where the flag fishes and flies. Hey, Duke, what are you doing? Here, what are you doing? You, you can have it. Why don't you look where you're shooting? I don't know. I guess I'm not inquisitive. Ah, uh, you don't know what you're doing. Hey, Duke. Duke. What? Ah, uh, Duke. Please don't be mad at me. Why shouldn't I? You're be? the only friend I have in the world. Yeah. I mean, after all, without you, I don't know what I'd ever do. Please, Duke, look at me. Yeah, no, don't point can't... that gun at me. I'm sorry. Going around with a gun in your hand. I'll fix you. Here, hold that bullet. Yes, sir. Hold it. There you are. Hold these bullets. Huh? Come on, hold the bullets. Now, put that gun away. Okay. And keep away from me. Hey, Duke. I swallowed the bullet. It's my own fault, anyway. I'm always getting you into trouble. I don't know why. I deserve a good kick in the pants. Oh! Hey, you. Hey. Hey. Put that down. What's the matter with you? There you are. Take your pick. Uh, look, Bob, maybe you better not ride today, huh? Oh, why not? There's no time like the present, is there? Take that tame-looking one right there. 
All right, I'll take that one right there. Say, you do know your horse flesh. Why, that's Wildcat, the toughest piece of bronco I ever roped. <laughs> Wildcat. If he tries to get on a horse again, he's got a lot of nerve. You're telling me. That guy can't even ride. I know it. I'm going to tell the boss. Hey, boss! Shh. What's this shushing stuff? Look, boys, if you tell on Bronco Bob, I'll tell on you. What do you mean you tell on me? You're talking to a real cowboy. Yeah. One hot dog, please. Yes, ma'am. Well, so you got me. We won't tell. And you? Not a word. Gee, thanks. Hey, you two. Get busy and rope Wildcat. That little bay. You heard him? That one? Yes. He's talking to you. Well, what about it? I'm not going to rope no horse. You go ahead. So wait a minute. Wait a minute. Just a minute. Do you want him to think I'm scared? I know, but after all, get Do you want him to think that I'm yellow? No. Ah, you. I'm not going to go in there and rope that. All right, tell you what I'll do. I'll wait out here. You go in there. <laughs> no, sir, brother. You're going to put that over on me. All right. Then you go in there and I'll wait out here. That's better. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Hurry up. Get going. You get do. In. Make it right. Go on. Get in there. Okay, boss. Go on. Do it. Get in. Andy. He's a killer. Oh, that's all I want to know. What's the matter? What's the matter? See what the man said? He's a killer. All right. He can't hurt us. Hey, you better borrow my rope, buddy. Well, go ahead. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Get over there. Go ahead. Okay. Throw it. That's it. Hey, you got him. You got him. Hold on. You got him? I think he's got me. Oh, come yeah. on. If I didn't like you, I wouldn't let you do this. You wouldn't like me so much. Come on, pull him in. <laughs> oh, look. Look. That's a horse. That's a horse. What is this? Easy. What kind of horse hey, is that? No, no, no. Not that one. Wildcat. What are you doing? Another one? That's the one over there. Go, go ahead. What's the matter with you? Get it me. Oh, come on. Get me. Then let him know who's boss. He knows who's boss. Listen, are you trying to show me up in front of these boys? No. Well, then go on out there. Do you want me to go out there with that wildcat? Go on. Okay, pal. Hello, boy. So long, everybody. Come on, not that way. Come here. <laughs> Will you please pick? You guys always in the way. Take this rope off this thing. Eh? Yeah, right. Go ahead, now, Lance. Uh, throw the rope out there. Uh, <laughs> oh, nice job. Come on. Wait a minute. Take it easy. <laughs> Choke yourself. <laughs> throw it out. Okay. Go ahead, now get it out. Uh, Way out. <laughs> Way out. Hey, boss. What? I think I missed. I think you did, too. Uh, <laughs> Duke, save me! Duke, save me! Save me! <laughs> hey, boys, get him out of there before he gets hurt. Nice work, pal. We've got him for you. Oh, 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 all right, sit down. Wow. Oh, bring it back here. Hurry up, boys. That's Get up, boys. 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 Get Plenty good. Hey, Dave! Go on! Give me up! Oh, give me up! Grab my hand, Willie! Give me up! Oh. Yahoo! Look at that! Oh. Will, bring that horse back! Hey, Dave! You better get me this time! I'll get that car out again! Dave, grab my hand! Get me off the horse! Oh. 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 Yeah? Yeah. Hey, Duke. She knows. 
Ah, oh, poor Duke. Couldn't take it. <laughs> Come on. Beside the Rio Tonto on a starlit trail, he fell in love with her smile one autumn while the moon was pale. And he knew that she loved him just by the look that she wore that evening beside the Rio Tonto shore. Two hearts were young and happy, love was all aglow. And as they laughed and they dreamed, the heaven seemed to overflow. Then one day he grew restless to roam and wander once more. He left her beside the Rio Tonto shore. He said his love for her would be undying And he'd return when his wandering was through But her poor heart whispered sadly, he's lying It's strange how it knew And yet each night she waits there on the starlit trail And prays he'll come back again some autumn when the moon is pale and as each evening passes, she sighs and waits just one more. He'll find her beside the Rio Tonto shore. There you are, boys. I guess it's warm enough now. Thanks, Ruby. Gee, I never minded a baby before. Well. All right, it's the right temperature. Starting from now on, I gotta make my own formulas. Ooh, it's your work now. Come on, be a nice little girl. Take your din din. Come on. Give it. Come on. Come on. Come on, take your din din. Don't be such a hog now. I feel so motherly. I should have went to Vassar. You shut her up. Hey, do. Why? Do you think maybe there's a pin stick in her? I don't think so, no. Hey, do. If you go someplace, why don't you take me with you? How would you like to attend another barbecue? What are you Indians doing here? We moved the whole tribe down for his wedding to Moonbeam. I'm too young to be afraid. We're just here to warn you to get your trousseau ready. this time, but they sure mean business. Don't. Don't. What happened? They got me. They what? They got me. No. They do. No. Willoughby. What do you Willoughby. Back to Western New York. Tell the folks I, I died with my boots on. Duke. All right, Willoughby. Don't go away. Put yourself together. Don't go away. I won't. Were you ever shot, Duke? No. It's a burning feeling, and I don't mean indigestion. I know how you feel. This is all... Oh. Wait a minute. Twice in the same place, I gotta... Wait a minute. Duke! It's only a couple of cowboys out there at target practice. I know. What's the matter with you? <laughs> Disappointed, eh? That's it. That's right. You've got him. How long did that take? 43 seconds. Say you're improving. Yeah, but not enough. <laughs> Look, Bob, if you'll just do it like this. See? If she really don't like him, why is she doing all of that? That's love, Willoughby. Oh, no. Oh, no. Love is when you're parked in a car. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Boy, you're all right. There's nothing to it. Yeah, you expect me to do that? Sure, and better. Well, it was a great life while it lasted. Go on, man, from the squaw side. Huh? Uh, the ride. 
Well, here we go. <laughs> What are you two doing here? Uh, we're just watching. Yeah. She's teaching him to... To, to what? Uh, to, to make four and four, four make eight and eight and eight and then there's geography. So get up to the barn. It's milking time. Hey. What? Do I have to milk that bunch of cows? No, not bunch. Herd. Herd what? Herd of cows. Sure, herd of cows. What do you think I am, a dummy? No, a cow herd. What do I care if a cow herd? I didn't say anything to be ashamed of. Oh, please, do you know what a cow gives? A cow gives milk. No, she don't. You got to take it away from her. Oh, come on. Let's get over to the barn. Come on. What are you doing down there? I don't know. I'm trying to do this here. Don't lean on me! Don't lean on me! Mm -hmm. There must be a, a better way than this. Can you move her over? Move the stuff over here a little. <laughs> Get off the finger! No, he's, he's getting on my hand. Get it out! Get it out! Get it out! Get it out, Get it out yourself. Okay. You milk her from the back. You milk her from the back? Certainly not down there. <laughs> Cowboy. You've got to learn sometime. Okay. You got... Now, what are you doing? Hey, there's none of those things up here. Hey, no, Duke. Not up. Give me a pail. Look, Give me a stool. Listen, please, on. will you listen to me? Yeah. You milk her on the stool. Oh, on the stool. On the stool. I know. Well, get up there. Here. Hey, the stool. Sit down. Huh? Not you, the cow. What Sit down. Mean? What for? Got a milker. Sit down. No, 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 no. Here, put that under the udder. The udder what? The cow's udder. The cow's udder what? Under here, please. Now sit down there, milk the cow. You mean under the crankcase? All right, call it what you want, but get some milk. Get some milk. No. Come on, come on, come on, give me some milk. <laughs> hey, you. Come on. Get on line. I was here first. How do you like that? What are you trying to do? Why don't you bring on somebody your side? I mean, but I was here first. I'm, I'm try, trying to get some milk myself, you know. After all. I must have run dry. Don't look at me. It ain't my fault. First time I ever come around here. Hey, Duke. Duke, Duke. What's the matter? Let me milk this cow. No, this is a steer. The steer don't give milk. No? No. Then where does that sterilized milk come from? Oh, come on, make it snappy. I'm dying for a drink of raw milk. Okay. You know, all you get in restaurants is uh, A milk uh, and B milk. B milk? Mm hmm Do bees give milk? No, honey. Thanks, dear. Oh, come on, get with it. Oh, a flat tube set. How do you tune it in? You can never trust a woman, can you? Ah. Will you cut it out? I just dare do once more. She did. Give me something. Oh. You do once more? I'll. Once more. Oh. I guess that'll hold you. Oh. Well, this is a fine time to be sleeping. Come on, get up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Wait. What's the matter? Come on. What happened? What's the matter with you? What happened? Peanuts! Hot dogs! Hot dogs! Peanuts! Fresh milk! Uh-oh. That's trouble. Wait a minute. This looks bad, boy. We've got the Indian sign on you. Get a wedding license ready or else. Or else? I'm getting sick and tired of having those Indians threaten me. I'll give them ten minutes to get out of town. How long? I'll give him five minutes to get out of town. How long? Give me ten seconds and I'll be packed. Wait a minute. Are you going to let him get away with that? No. That's a boy. I'll get those dirty redskins. I know it was in you. Which way did these arrows come from? That way. That way? That way. Let's go this way.
Scare the daylights out of him. It better. I spent the best part of the day carving that face. Rush it out. Over here, right across from his bunk. Here they come now. It's dark in here. Well, put on the lights. They got me. They got me. Where? Right in the middle of the excitement. Oh, somebody's trying to kid you. Kidding? That's Sir. a very funny kind of kidding. I mean, after all, Duke, every time I turn around here in this here ranch, you know what happens? What? Somebody here, let's go with an arrow. Right by my kisser. Come on, let's go to bed. Hey, partner. Duke. What's the matter? Duke. It's only a dummy, man. Look at it. Those three boys put that there to scare you. They're very successful. Well, come on, touch it. It's only a dummy. Feel it. That's all. So. Come on, come on, let's wash up. I'm not scared of you. Willoughby, go get me the soap. Go get me the soap. I said, go get yourself. Willoughby, go get me the soap. Stubborn, I'm not gonna get it. Go get me the soap. No! Go get me that soap, Willoughby. All right. That's better. Dummy, huh? I wish you was the other guy you look like. I'll let you have it. Fine joint. Ain't even a place to hang your hat. I mean, uh... Come on. Come on. I'm right. Zip. Watch my hat. Ah, that's ridiculous. No. Come on. Come on. Hey, Duke. It was right. What do you know? What do you know? There's your hat, and there's no knife in it. No? Well, that hole wasn't put there by a moth. Come here. I'll prove this Indian's only a dummy. Come on, get over here. What are you afraid of? Look. Look. Now get with it. Go to bed. No more of this nonsense. Dummy, huh? Like a guy that gave me some Indian spring water. I moved. Did you move? No. I'll fix you. Put this in your mouth. That's good. I'm getting hysterical or something. Huh. A dummy, I'm telling you. No, dummy's gonna do that. Come here. No. Come here. Come here. I wanna go in. Yes, you will. Hey, Duke. 
I'm telling you, he's alive. Uh, what, I sort of think. What, that? Oh, come on. What got it. into you all of a oh, sudden? Stu, what are you afraid of? I'm telling you, this Indian's alive. Ah! He's done an awful lot of things to me. You're crazy, man. It's impossible. I'll show you. Go ahead, show me. Now what? What are you doing? Nothing. Didn't work. <laughs> See him take a kick at me? Oh, that's a dummy, you dummy. Well, he's alive. Now go on and get in bed. What's the matter with you? What's come over you all of a sudden? There's no way to act. Get into your nightgown and go to bed and get some rest. Where are you going? Go change in the closet because I'm bashful. All right, go ahead in the closet. Now, what in the world kept you? I was a little long, wasn't I? Sorry, now get to bed there. I'll turn out the lights. And don't forget, I don't want to hear of Indians from you anymore. Do you understand that? Get in there. Don't mention Indians. That's all I do is think of them. I'm always dreaming of them. Oh, think of something else. Beautiful girls. I'll think of beautiful girls. But I'll dream about Indians. Oh, go to sleep. You the doctor? I'm the doctor. Gotta have some rest. I need a lot of rest. All night long, when I sleep, I see Indians. Even when I turn around, I bunk into Indians. Hmm? I gotta have a rest. Well, you've come to the right place. You'll see no Indians here. Good. No, everything will be all right. <laughs> just a minute, just a minute. Oh, no, wait. Take it easy. You're in bad shape. You do need to rest. Wait, I'll see what I can do for you. Fellas, do you mind giving this room up for tonight? Very well. Come this way, please. Come, come. Come on. Take it easy. That's the boy. Uh, oh, nurse. Yes? Now, this is your nurse. Another Indian. Are you an Indian? Why, no. You must be seeing things. No, he's in bad shape, nurse. Uh, make sure that everything is quiet. I gotta have a rest. Now, hang your clothes up and get some sleep. You'll be all right in the morning. If you need me, just call. your palm red.
General Custer. Sitting Bull! I'm scared. What's the matter? I'm scared. What's the matter? The whole room is full of Indians. Where? I, Where? Saw, I saw two guys come in. Two guys. Well, one, one guy says, back the doors. I won't. You will. I won't. You will. No, the other guy shot. Beast! Pull him out! Come here. Come here. What are you? You've Look. been dreaming. That's all that's wrong with you. I... Now, what is it all about? I... Flock Indians. What, what do you mean, room? a flock of Indians? Uh, plenty of Indians. There's not a single Indian here. Oh, no? No. I know it. They're all married and got children. Oh, what Dude, are you talking everybody about? Everybody was in the room but that one Indian that throws knives. Bzz. Remember the hat? Are you Remember? still afraid of that? Afraid? You think he's still around? Mm. I'll prove to you that he's not. Come Until here. I see come, him. Come up. here, come here. Here. He's not here. He's not here. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. He's not here. Certainly He's not here. He's not here. He's not here. Hmm. If I know you, you're going to do one of two things. You're either going to break her heart or break your neck. In either way, you're going to break my pocketbook. Oh, Mr. Mitchell. Yeah? Hi, Mace Anderson. How are you? Mr. Conway, my nursemaid. How are you? Good evening. I own a little club downtown, and I haven't seen you around. Well, I've been pretty busy getting ready for the Redale. Sam Shaw figures that the Lazy S team's a cinch to win with you on it. As a matter of fact, I'm handling a $1,000 bet for him. Mr. Shaw didn't strike me as being a betting man. No, he isn't as a rule, but he spent so much money remodeling this place, I guess he's counting on getting some of it back with this bet. Well, I'll be seeing you down at the club. Goodbye. Oh, Mr. Anderson. Look out now. That guy didn't come here just to talk. I know it. Yeah? I'll handle Mr. Shaw's bet myself at 10 to 1. 10 to 1? That's right, but my name's got to be kept out of it. It's a deal. Hey, wait a minute. Aren't you riding for the Lazy S team? Uh-huh. And you're betting $10,000 that your own team loses? That's right. I get it. That makes it simpler, doesn't it? I'll be seeing you. You know what that guy thinks. Let him think it. 10,000 smackers. You go and kill yourself in that rodeo just to make sure her old man wins that dough. I give up. Hey, Duke, you know what? What? I would love to dance. Well, why don't you? I gotta I got learn how to do those kind of dances. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go on out and do it. What do you care? I'd like to. Go ahead. You know the last? Hey, Duke. What's the matter? I've been robbed. You what? I've been robbed. In here? Yeah. You've been robbed? I had it when I came in. I know I had it when yeah. I left the bunkhouse. You I had, had what? I, my little lady. You're, you're I want to dance with the girls like everybody else. I only got one leg now. I can't, can't dance. Oh, what are you talking about? Oh. What's the matter with you? What do you know about that? Am I happy? You should be. Hello. Do you dance? Well, yes. You have nice weather for it. All right, come on, sit down, sit down. What's on your mind, Ace? I just wanted you to know that I bet 20 grand of my own money that the lazy ass out there loses tomorrow. Why tell me? Well, see, you don't happen to win any events, that's all. You ought to speak to Bronco Bob Mitchell. He's set to be the head man. Well, I'm not worried about him. He'll see that they lose, all right. Bob Mitchell let me bet 10 grand at 10 to 1 that the lazy ass out there loses. That's where I got my information. Ace, I think you're lying. But whether you are or not, I'm riding tomorrow to win, and no one is going to stop me. Side, same old couples, forward and back. Forward again, and sides divide, and you swing in the center, and you swing on the side with a salamander and left with the old left hand is back. We got orders from Ace to take you with us. Here we go with the old mess wagon, the hind wheel broke, and the axle dragging. Meet your partner, promenade. You know where, and I don't care, and the pay! What kind of old-fashioned jive is that you've got? Take it from me, Pops, it's not so hot. You say it's an old square dance up there. Well, you're right there, it sure is square. Don't be a chump, do a square dance, but make it jump. What you say, we all go rockin' and reelin'. Make the old Virginia reel really, really hop. The corn will try to be planted in jive, and I'll bet that it pops your top. Hit the timber and go rockin' and reelin'. Do the boogie if the beat is in eight. You just know where it could dance in the square, cause you swing like a rusty gate. Put rhythm to your 
your do si do and it's easy to make it mix. Keep jumping when you're heel and toe, and if you really want to get your kicks, swing your partner when you're rocking and reeling. Do your dancing like you haven't a care. You'll be first class, you'll be cooking with gas if you go rocking round the square. Ruby, Ruby, we want Ruby. She's the gal on the mellow side. Ruby, come on, Ruby, just let rhythm be your guide. Give the calls, make them up. Do it in jive and break them up. Well, if you want me to do it, I'll have these cats come on fit to kill. And we'll show you how they brought the square, you know, back in Harlem on Sugar Hill. Now, if you really want to get your boots laced, start out with the old shim sham and play back that jive I laid on you. Pops, you're on your own, so cut out a jam. You say we all go rockin' and reelin', make the old Virginia reel really hop. The corn will thrive if you plant it in jive, and I'll bet that it pops your top. If the timber go rockin' and reelin', do the boogie woogie if the beat is in eight. You're just nowhere if you're dancing the square, cause you swing like a rustic gate. Put rhythm to your do si do when it's easy to mix. Keep jumpin' when you heel and toe, and if you really want to get your kick. Swing your partner, go rockin' and reel, and do your dancing like you're having a care. You'll be first class, you'll be cooking with gas. Heel and toe and rock, rock, rockin' and reel, and rock, rock, rockin' and reel, and when you're rockin' around the way. In. That's what that fellow told Alabama. That's true, because I heard it with my one good ear. This one over here. No, this one over here. No, this one over here. I don't believe it. Bob wouldn't bet against himself. Then why not ask Alabama? Good morning, everybody. Uh oh, there he is. Why, you. I ought to haul off and give you the dirtiest look you ever had in your life. Hey, what is this? What's going on here? Bob, did you make a bet through Ace Anderson that the lazy ass would lose today? Oh. You heard about that, huh? Now listen, Ann. I'm gonna ride today and I'm gonna ride to win. As far as I'm concerned, you can do all your riding on a train heading east. Well, now listen. I wanna... What are you doing? Oh. Hey, wait a minute. You guys got a customer. Come on, Willoughby. Let's get going. Wait, you don't understand. Oh, yes, we do. You're a bad boy. Oh, you got me wrong. Oh, no. We ain't got you wrong. If I got you wrong, I hope I knock a fender off this car. Okay, get in. We're wrong. <laughs> well, that's why I wanted to lose the money. 10,000 buckaroos to win a girl? That's love, all right. That's inflation. That's uh, all your fault. You had to go and spoil a beautiful romance. Uh, you and your eavesdropping. Eavesdropping? I never dropped an eve in my life. I ought to give you back to the Indians. Oh, Duke, anything but that. Don't give me back to the Indians. What do you know? Somebody must be using a slingshot. Sit still, boys. I'll get it. All right, reach. Come on, give me your gun. Hey, what's the big idea? Just take it easy, mister, and you won't get hurt. Have inside. I'll go get help. I don't care what your reasons were for betting on the lazy ass to lose. The main thing is, I can be positive they don't win by holding on to you and Alabama. Yeah. We got you good, Bronco Bob. You know, it ain't as easy to escape from here as it was in them books of yours. Why, are you a fan of mine? I'll say I am. You know that there book, uh, I Escaped from Outlaws? That was swell. Remember, Race? I was reading it to you, remember? Hey, that took place in a cabin very much like this, didn't it? Yeah, that's right, it did. Uh-huh. There I was, a prisoner. The outlaw chief was pacing up and down. The window was open. Well, let's see.
Hey, you're hurt. Never mind that. Let's get back to the rodeo. Well, let's make sure our friend stays here first. <laughs> I gotta get help. Yeah, we should have stayed there and fought it out with them. Hey! Hey, look! Stop, stop, stop. Look! Look! Oh, just give me this. Hey, yeah. yes! Come on, get going! Come on, step on it. Come on, get close to it. Come on, get close to it. Come on, get close to it. Come on, get Way back. They have no brakes, boy. Come on, step up. Step hey, on. Hey, take off your brake. Huh? Take off your brake. Take off the brake. Take off your brake. Take it off. Take it off. What do I do now? Release it. Okay. Release it. Here they come. Willoughby, go right over the wheel, Willoughby. Willoughby, grab the wheel. Same spot we started from. Ain't I, Kenny? You are. Now you listen to me. Take the turns I tell you to take. Bob's in trouble. Whew. Now get going. Come on. Now let's 
see. He's in this Bronco busting contest. Now that should be something. I don't suppose there's any doubt of his showing up, is there, Conway? This is pretty dull stuff, Manny. What do you say we go find some real fun, huh? And the next event on the program is the girls' fancy riding contest. Well, good luck, Ann. There's a lot more at stake than just the prize money. A lot more? Yeah, Ace Anderson had somebody to put up $10,000 at 10 to 1 that we'd lose. $10,000? Why, Dad, then Bob... Bob wanted to lose so we'd win. Well, that doesn't make sense. It certainly does. Come on! <laughs> Come on, get in the car. He's hurt. Come on. No, it's nothing. It's just a little... Ooh! Blood. The Lazy S outfits in second place with 27 points, including the first place won by Miss Ann Shaw. And now, the final contestant in Bronco Buston, also representing the Lazy S Ranch, that celebrated personality, Bronco Bob Mitchell. <laughs> Where's Bob? Has anyone seen him? No, I'm no, honest with you. Him Alabama hasn't shown up either. Well, that's strange. Hey, you don't mean that you want Bob to ride? Of course him. I want him to ride. Bronco Bob Mitchell is wanted at the shoots. The judges are waiting. So he was going to ride, was he? <laughs> Bronco Bob Mitchell having failed to appear, the contest is forfeited and the winner is... But wait a minute! Here he is, folks! Here he is! Get Alabama to first aid right away. What happened to him? He got shot. Shot? I'll explain later. Look, Ann, about that bet. We know all about that bet. You just get in there and ride. Ride him, cowboy! Bridegroom. Plains, a horse with lightning in his veins, and for my comrades, the man of the west. The cowboy's friends are rough and tough, but they're his friends, and that's enough. They're tried and true men, and they're the best. 